Disney has officially announced it will be closing its iconic Splash Mountain water ride in January of next year, more than two years after protesters launched an online petition against the ride, claiming it was racist. Because as we all know, if there's one thing that's oppressing black people in this country, it's a log flume. Disney's famous Splash Mountain attraction will be closing on January 23rd of next year in the Magic Kingdom. The company's Tokyo theme park will soon do the same. The ride will be replaced by a new one called Tiana's Bayou Adventure after the movie The Princess and the Frog. Why? Well, little known fact, but Splash Mountain is modeled after a 1940s era film called Song of the South, which a lot of people have claimed is racist because it centers on a little white boy who befriends a black worker on his grandparents' plantation during the Reconstruction era. Never mind that the black actor who played Uncle Remus in the film, James Baskett, actually won an Academy Award for his performance, like Hattie McDaniel in Gone with the Wind. His contributions to the film industry are now on the scrap heap because of some idiots who have nothing better to do with their time than see a racist in every shadow. But apparently the furor over this movie also extends to a water ride at a theme park, which is also racist because it loosely follows the story of Br'er Rabbit, a character in the stories that Uncle Remus tells throughout the film. Now, this is a ride that's been at the park for 33 years, and literally nobody gave a crap until 2020, when Black Lives Matter decided to burn down our cities, which brings up an interesting point. Now, first of all, I guarantee you that few, if any, of the people who claim this movie is super-duper racist and triggering have ever even seen the thing, considering that Disney never released it on home video in the United States. Which means the vast majority of people probably had no idea that Splash Mountain was modeled after it and wouldn't have even known that Br'er Rabbit was a character from the film. Not to mention, you know, they were probably too preoccupied with getting drenched, considering that, again, we're talking about a water ride at a theme park. So the entire controversy over whether or not this ride is a racist attraction that makes a mockery of black people is completely ginned up and ridiculous. And the only reason anyone would think that is because someone else told them to. But you know, while we're on the subject of racism, since you brought it up, you know what doesn't change black people's lives for the better? Renaming a theme park attraction. Just like it doesn't do a lick of good when you rename a middle school if that middle school is still failing or when you rename a street when the people living on it are still stuck in poverty. All this virtue signaling doesn't amount to a hill of beans for the people the left claims to be trying to help. Now, I don't have a problem with a theme park updating an old ride or giving its attractions a facelift, but I do have a problem with caving to social justice warriors who demand arbitrary change at the expense of actually making anything better. Little black girls need dads, not a log flume. Black children need good schools that prepare them for successful careers, not just a building renamed after Barack Obama. Black people need policies that lift them up out of poverty and get them off of welfare programs, not some mural on a street that they can see from the cracked window of their busted up apartment in the projects. And liberals aren't interested in actually fixing that. If you wanted to help black people, you would support school choice so that black families can get their kids out of failing public school systems and put them somewhere that will actually teach them to read. And don't tell me Disney can't support that, because they had all the time and space in the world to stick their noses all up in Florida's education policies. Push for laws that give hand-ups, not handouts. Promote policies that encourage and build strong families, not ones that tell black women to just abort their children or make it easy for deadbeat dads to skip out because the taxpayers will just pick up the slack. You'd promote economic policies that don't create rampant inflation that disproportionately affects the urban poor. Minorities are not oppressed by people of another skin color. They are oppressed by leftists who virtue signal in place of actually affecting change because the simple truth is they don't want anything to change. And until then, you can rename all the log flumes in the world and it won't affect a darn thing. And that's your Reality Check America. If you like videos like this one, keep them coming by heading over to mrc.org slash donate and support the Media Research Center. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube and Rumble, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.